How's it going everybody? Wayne here and welcome back to another episode of the NES Complete and Box Quest. It's been a long time since I made one of these videos. If you've watched my other ones, you know that I was just going after the games that I really love for the system, Mint, Complete and Box. Well, I've decided to go for the entire licensed NES library, Complete and Box. So I'm not going to be focusing on condition as much because finding all 677 games complete in box that are in mint condition would just be impossible financially for me. Part of the reason I decided to go for the whole set was because I love the NES library. Uh, I used to have all 677 loose and seeing the N64 complete in box collection behind me made me want to have the system that I love the most complete in box as well. Also with the pandemic going on, I'm not able to go game chasing here locally in Japan. And I might not get another chance to go game chasing the entire time I'm here. So I needed to collect something and I decided to go for the entire NES complete in box library. So let's check out the next game. And the next game up for the NES Complete in Box Quest is Kickle Cubicle. Kickle Cubicle was developed and published by iRim and released for the NES in 1990. Kickle Cubicle is a puzzle game ported from an arcade. The story goes Kickle was sleeping and awoke when he heard cries for help. When Kickle looked out his window, the entire fantasy kingdom had been turned into ice. Kickle is the only one who can save the day. There are four kingdoms, Garden Land, Fruit Land, Cake Land and Toy Land, with multiple levels in each. In each level you must solve puzzles and collect all the red dream bags in that level to advance. And as cute as this game may seem, those are bodies in those bags put there by the Wizard King that froze the land. After you finish all the levels in a kingdom, you face a final boss. All of the bosses are taken out with the same concept. They throw stuff at you and it breaks, then you kick pieces back at them. The game starts out easy and gets progressively harder. In each level you'll find enemies that are called Noggles that you can turn into ice cubes and make paths. There are a wide range of other enemies in each level that all react differently to your attacks as well. It's important to know what each enemy does because sometimes they are part of the puzzle. For example, there's an enemy called Max that you will need to use to make paths. Max kicks ice blocks and he may be your only way forward. Some enemies like the Myrtle are just there to try to destroy your progress in a level by breaking your ice blocks. Some stages also have different items you can pick up. Ice pops give you big points if you're going for points. You can also find 1-ups in some stages. 1-ups always require puzzle solving to get them. They're never just out in the open. You can also find power rocks that freeze all enemies on the screen. After you defeat all the levels in all four kingdoms, you face the wicked wizard king. I expected some Merlin looking dude to come out with the magical ice staff, but instead I get a two bald snowman with an upside down pail on his head. And he blows bubbles at you that you must freeze and kick at him. After you take out the wicked wizard king, you meet Princess Mira and marry her becoming the prince of the land. The gameplay is fun with great visuals. This was one of my must own games that I bought before going for the entire complete in box library. The music is decent, but gets monotonous after a while. The controls are good, but you can get caught up at times because Kickle can't move diagonally. The game can be frustrating at times, but there are unlimited continues and a password system for every level, so you can pick up where you left off if you need a break. After you beat the game and watch the credits, you're rewarded with the special game. This is more challenging puzzles, but the same gameplay. And the special game is no surprise if you read the manual before playing the game. Overall, if you're a fan of puzzle games, Kickle Cubicle is worth picking up. And Kickle Cubicle is game number four for the NES Complete and Box Quest. Let's get this game on the shelf. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. I'll be collecting the entire NES library, Complete and Box, right here on the show. Also, make sure to leave a thumbs up for Prince Kickle. Until next time, I'm Wayne, and thanks for watching.